Many QuickBooks users would like to enter transactions in batch mode instead of the more graphical form-based environment historically found in QuickBooks. For users of QuickBooks Account at 2013 or QuickBooks Enterprise Solutions Account at 13.0, the new Batch Enter Transactions mode makes this possible. In this tip, you're going to learn how to use this tool. As previously mentioned, to use this feature, you must work with QuickBooks Account at 2013 or higher, or QuickBooks Enterprise Solutions Account at 13.0 or higher. This feature is not found in other versions of QuickBooks software. In either of these editions of QuickBooks, from the Account at menu, choose Batch Enter Transactions as currently shown on the screen. As you can see, this opens a data entry grid. In the data entry grid, you can select from entering checks, deposits, or credit card charges and credits. You can also select the bank account that you wish to be credited with these transactions. And additionally, you can customize the columns that appear in the data entry grid. As you can see, simply enter into the data entry grid the details regarding each of the transactions you wish to post into QuickBooks. Upon entering all of the desired transactions for a specific batch, click Save Transactions in the lower right corner of the screen to record the batch in QuickBooks. For accounting and financial professionals accustomed to entering transactions in a batch environment, and for users who are looking for a quick and easy method of recording a large volume of transactions in QuickBooks, the Batch Enter Transactions feature added to QuickBooks 2013 is a great enhancement. Just remember though, you must run an Accountants edition of QuickBooks in order to have access to this new tool. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.